Very good morning and uh, thank you for coming in nice and early. My session is about the restoration of contour and volume and the understanding of fat compartments and why it's so important we have a good understanding of fat compartments to restore the contour and volume of our patients in a natural and age appropriate way. Aging is a complex and multifactorial process, but two most distinct things that which are reflective of aging is the loss of volume as well as the development of the skin. So in order to restore the or rejuvenate the face successfully in a natural way, we in a perfect uh, in a perfect world we want to do combined approach. But not all our patients have the budget or want to go through combined approach. My personal take is the very first step, step is always about restoration of contour and volume. So restoration of contour and volume is not about filling the face per se. It's all about sculpting and contouring with a sound understanding of the presence of both superficial and deep fat compartment. It is one that with that understanding that requires a lot of skills and experience, it's a lot easier to just fill somebody's face. You pick up a, a volumizing filler, you stick it into the face and you push the plunger. But it's a lot harder to contour and a sculpt somebody's face in a It's important to understand the differences of these fat compartments. As you can see, the fat compartments we are most in, in, interested in are the one, two, three, and four. Number one, as part of the aging process, doesn't lose much in volume. Number two is what we call the nail fat pad, which is a virtual fat pad. It loses a lot of volume. And number three is quite an interesting one. It loses volume in the superior part, but not the inferior part. And number four loses quite a considerable amount of volume as part of the aging. The concept for this slide is, apart from the fact that we need to know which fat compartment loses how much volume, it's also the fact that they are demarcated by septae and they are perforating blood vessels uh, within the septae. This is my technique. I first identify the orbital ring and then I draw a line between the tragus and the nasal ala. Anything I inject above the line has to go deep into the deep fat compartment. You take advantage of the bone to give you the lift.